everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Lisa and today I'm just doing a quick little get ready with me because I felt like the only way to motivate myself was to do my makeup on camera so that's what I did and um, stay tuned to see how I did this look my skin I have psoriasis and you can see the redness all around here the corners of my mouth in the creases of my eyelids my psoriasis has been out of control I even have a spot on my neck down here um, yeah it's never actually gotten this bad before this this is the worst up here and it was actually pretty painful for the first couple of days today I'm probably not gonna do much on my eyes because I have that much stuff going on like I don't even think I'm gonna put lashes on because I'm scared of the glue irritating my skin more and that kind of has to do with why I haven't filmed in the last week because my skin is just yeah I got some new products that we're gonna be trying out today um, a foundation a new brow product um, I did have a new liner that I bought but because I'm not gonna be doing much to my eyes I don't think I'm gonna use it today but I tried to get something lighter because most of my stuff was all from like summertime and a lot darker than what I actually am. So we're going to start out with the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. And this is the, let's see. NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation in the color Light 5, Fiji. Wow, I look like I kind of have a black eye, huh? It's so light that it's really not that big of a deal. I am extremely excited for the dinner I'm making tonight though. Now for the new concealer that I'm using. It's NARS as well, but it's the Radiant Creamy Concealer. Cheeto, what are you doing? And I got it in color Light 2.3. Let's hope this is light enough for this. I like their packaging, but I just know it's going to get dirty, so. Whoa, this is um, thicker than I expected. My lips are disgusting. I need to stop. I am beautiful. I am loved. I am protected. I am cared for. I am radiant. I use peach perfect setting powder I hate this stuff so don't recommend it but because but because I hate wasting money on products I use it but it's because the peach scent and it like it's just gross to me I don't know the powder itself is great like the way it looks but I cannot stand the peach part of it <laughs> Mama to contour slash bronze, mainly just contour. I know I wear a lot of makeup, but I don't care. I rarely do my makeup, so why not go all out whenever I actually do it? On a daily basis, I literally wear nothing on my skin except for my moisturizer. Not even mascara or anything because I don't leave the house ever. Which has probably been another reason that's been contributing to like my weird mood. I have always had agoraphobic tendencies, but they've gotten, I don't know, quite worse since moving here, I guess. And it has nothing to do with the move. It, I, well, just has to do with like a change in life and 
I don't know, and not like change in my daily activities, I guess. But basically, I rarely leave the house, so that I'm even more scared to leave the house than I already was before we moved here. And then on top of that, my anxiety when we're about to leave has gotten so bad that I've thrown up one time. Like it's like you're getting ready to leave and you're like thinking about going out. I, I threw up because I was so anxious about it. And then the second time after that, it wasn't as bad. I didn't throw up, but that's mainly because I didn't really have anything in my stomach to throw up, but I was gagging pretty heavily. Like just my body is straight up sick when I think about going out. <sighs> I don't know. And I know I should go to therapy and stuff, but the last time I was in therapy, I was forced to go to therapy um, for the situation that I was in. And so with that, then there's, it's just like a whole vicious cycle for me. I was forced to go to, to therapy, so now I don't really want to go on my own. God. I've been crying all morning today, so I'm trying to avoid crying right now. You're gonna use Bang Beauty Blush Smoked Peach. Sorry guys. I know I'm normally not like this on my videos. <laughs> this is a lot lighter than the blush I normally go for and it's glittery. So I don't really know how I feel about that. But we'll see. I just wanted to use it because I've had it in my cabinet for a while. Plus, I also need to go through like all of my stuff and um, clear out things that I've had for years that I should not be putting on my face anymore. Okay, this blush is not bright enough for me. If you guys know what my blush normally looks like, it's pretty bright. So we might have to put a little bit more on there. Yeah, Cheeto's walking on the table around here. Stop, please, Cheeto. I don't want you to fuck with me shit right now. I actually kind of like it because it looks like it's like a highlighter and blush and blunt. I might not even put my other highlighter over it. I'm going to put on the Lip Injection Lip Balm by Too Faced. Um, just to get some moisture and some plump into my lips. Not like I need plumping, but I kind of like it. And when I smile, my, my top lip disappears so much. Okay, I am going to try a little bit of the highlighter that I have. It's a Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. I don't know which color this is or how to find the color. Blossom Glow. It's right on the front of it. Yeah. Just a little bit since I already have that blush that's a little sparkly. And this is a different tone of a highlighter. The other, the blush is kind of like a goldy type of undertone to the pink. And this is going to be more of like a white, pinky, like frosty pink. I really like it. I like being really glowy today. I'm going to put the only thing I'm going to put like on my eye area besides mascara is going to be this ColourPop Monster. It's a super shock cheek, but I've only ever used it on my eyes. I'm just going to take my finger, it's creamy, and put it on the inside. <laughs> getting my brows um the velour fluff and brow pencil it's in the color chestnut it's a spoolie the pencil and then a brow balm god that's on there tiny okay spoolie let me brush these babies out um, if anyone's ever curious about my brows, I don't know that anybody cares. I don't do anything to them. I don't wax them. I don't pluck them. Nothing. These are my brows. Yeah. 
I used to get them waxed, but now it's to a point where there is no point. Okay, I'm gonna use the pencil because I'm just kind of scared of the balm. But let's see. Just kind of fill in the areas. I don't like it to be too bold of a brow. And I absolutely hate fluffy brows. Um, I just think they look ridiculous. my brows with this color on them yes okay um flower lash warrior mascara in black of course because that's the only thing i ever really wear on my eyelashes i wish i had a lash primer since i'm not doing lashes today but unfortunately i don't my lash primer is old and dried out and i was not about to risk putting it on my eyes and them getting more irritated so this will have to do another thing is a few more people have been writing me on my social media like my subscribers from here and stuff and that's fine i encourage it but just know that i get very very nervous talking to new people because of the way the world is, you know? They're gonna take offense to anything. Not that I ever say anything offensive, but I'm worried that I'll put my foot in my mouth or something. So I have a hard time getting myself to reply to people through DM. I mean, I always reply. It's just how much of like the real me am I gonna show in the messages is kind of hard for me to decide. No, I always, I'm always a me. It's just, how do I put it? I don't know. I'm just so scared of like people not liking me, which is like not something I should care about. I shouldn't care if somebody likes me or not, right? Not everybody's going to like me and that's fine. But to me, it just seems like something terrifying. <laughs> just because look how short and stubby those lashes are. all right i believe this is the final look i'm just gonna leave it here i'm still in my robe i might even eat in my mukbang in my robe um but i'm really excited i'll see you guys later for my chicken pad thai which you should have already watched because i'll probably post this video after i posted that mukbang video but i hope you enjoyed this get ready with me i don't even know if it's a good video but please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next one bye